What was the element that charmed you to uh, the personality of the Macedonian commander and made you decide to write his biography in okay. when you were 27? <laughs> I, was, I was younger. Younger? <laughs> I did it between the age of 23 and 23. 27 and I had worked on it since I was 15. This was my life. Um, Alexander knew no fear. This is very rare. Everyone watching knows that men are often afraid. Alexander had no fear. Alexander was deliberately motivated by the rivalry with the values of Homer and the Homeric world. This is not some distant fantasy. Macedon had a style of life close to the world of Homer. Which do you think is the most unshakable argument of that, uh, which proves that Alexander the Great was Greek? Because <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> there are so many. <laughs> He spoke Greek, he was descended from Greek parents, he worshipped the Greek gods, he lived here in Greek uh, Ege, uh, near Greek Pella. Where do I begin? He loved all Greek culture, he read Greek books, that was his language with a Macedonian accent, of course, like people speak with a Cretan or an Arcadian accent. <laughs> Alexander was Greek, that is it. Yeah. Uh, you made a reference uh, yesterday uh, about Skopje. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, have, I will say it again, mm -hmm. uh, for Skopje to claim that they are the birthplace of Alexander the Great is as ignorant as if in Skopje they were to say that Oxford University is really in Belarus and Shakespeare was born in Minsk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is uh, no evidence for it at all. Let's be generous for one moment. Mm -hmm. They may want to be part of Alexander's world and we should respect that and encourage it. But they are nothing to do with his homeland. They must remember they were on the margins. Some of the cavalry perhaps came from Peonia uh, mm -hmm. on the edges of, uh, of Skopje. But Alexander himself, it is nationalist nonsense mm -hmm. to annoy Greece. Is there progress in archaeological research? Are there chances to find his grave? I don't believe we will but you, I never thought we would find Philip's tomb. Mm -hmm. It is down in a deep level, perhaps the ruins in Alexandria below the, the, the street plan, and it has been destroyed and looted at the end, I think, of the fourth century AD. But life is full of surprises. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about uh, your involvement in the film uh, by Oliver Stone. Oh, well. uh, you must have been excited. Yeah. When I first met Oliver, I did not know who he was. I never watched films. The only film I had seen in life was Bambi. <laughs> we talked for seven hours and he asked me, what do you want? This is uh, a whole world of Alexander has been presented to me. He told me later, he thought I would say a million dollars. And he was thinking maybe half a million dollars, but I wanted something much more important. I told him I wanted only two things. I wanted to be in the first 10 of every cavalry charge on horseback mm -hmm. that he filmed. And I wanted my name in the credits with the words and introducing. <laughs> it was a great experience. So Oliver is a great man. He laughed. He, he still says he had never been asked for anything so extraordinary and he sent me a picture of the cavalry in Cuba charging with their swords because mm. he went to interview Castro who's a big lover of Alexander and he wrote on the back I have thought about it I see you at the front <laughs> <laughs> and in the film he put me in the front of the cavalry even mm. in front of Colin Farrell My life. Colossus. So, uh, how important is the creation of a digital museum about Alexander the Great? This is the most brilliant idea uh, and it deserves full support from everybody. Alexander opened the horizons of a new world. Maybe the spread of uh, Islam and the Arabic world in the 7th to 10th centuries opened something with as big a frontier and horizon. But in our time, the new frontier is the internet and the digital world. We cannot go to Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Pakistan. We can't, if we are sad, go to Iran with the clergy in charge. 
we can't easily go to parts of Bulgaria or Turkey if we love Greece. But on the internet, we can travel like Alexander more comfortably. And it is also in harmony with Alexander's own view of the world that there is a unity across people. And we have found that unity in technology.